Hey everybody, it's Mark, Five Angels Outdoor. Thanks for tuning into this video. One of the things I wanted to go over today was uh, a product that we bought and we put to use. And I wanted to give you uh, just my opinions of it. And I'm talking about the WeBoost cell phone signal booster. We did buy the Overland edition. Um, however they brand it, you know, obviously it's targeted towards people who overland, but, uh, but yeah, we're, we're gonna talk the Wii Boost. So what I'll do is I'll show you the different components. I'll talk about the install and then give you my opinions. All right, the Wii Boost is a pretty simple kit. Not many components here. The first component, as you can see, and most people will see from the outside, is this exterior mounted antenna. Now this does, with the Overland Edition, come with a mount, a swivel mount, so when not in use, you can fold it down as long as you remember to fold it up when you want to use it. So pretty simple, pretty easy. I just attached mine to the roof rack and then I ran the cable, which is associated to the antenna, basically down my windshield along with some of my other electrics and then down into the engine compartment. And then really from there, I just fed it through the firewall the same way I did most of my other electronics that um, have components on the exterior and then go into the interior. So this is the first component, antenna. Alrighty, the second component here is just your I don't know, your base station, your modular base station. Now, this, uh, this is pretty easy. It comes with a nice mounting point. Um, I used my uh, side molly panel here to mount, it, mount the mounting point and it just, it just clips it right in. So pretty easy. So that cable uh, from that antenna comes through the firewall and then it comes down and screws in right here. Uh, the other part of this is a power. Now, I did purchase um, the hardwire kit. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't go so well as part of the install. So right now, I'm powering this through a 12 volt cigarette lighter switch that's down here. Turn it on, turn it off. I was going to hardwire it, but one thing to note, with the wiring kit is that it's a pretty long wire. So what I did is I think, oh, this is great. I'll just cut the wire to length, strip the ends, hot wired in, you know, great. I've done all kinds of wiring, no big deal. Unbeknownst to me, the way that the wiring is set up is that uh, I cut that wire and the ground isn't a separate wire. It's sort of wrapped around the, uh, the hot lead, sort of like a coax, how it's in there. Total mess, basically had to trash it. It was only $18 for the hardwire kit. I can get another one and do it again in the future, and now I know. But, um, but right now, yep, I'm just using the 12 volt cigarette lighter. It's working out great. And then the third bit, which comes off this side of the unit, is an antenna. And I basically just have that threaded up and then mounted right here on my center console. Now this antenna, it's recommended that it's about 12 to 18 in inches away from, um, from where you wanna keep your cell phone, where you're keeping your cell phone, which works out great, because me, I'm mounting my cell phone up here on this dash mount, so I'm pretty much within spec, so that works out great. So that there you have it, those are the components. I have an antenna on the roof, control module here, and an antenna there. Three pieces to the puzzle, all to solve a problem of cell phone reception when you're out on the trail. So let's, uh, let's give you my thoughts. All right, so what are my thoughts? You know, I was on the fence about this WeBoost for some time. So I was like, is it a gimmick? Is it one of these things that you buy because other overlanders or other people are doing it and then it just doesn't work out? You know, and you just sort of say, well, you know, why'd I spend that money? Well, I did a couple of trips. One, I did a trip out 
up into Kentucky on the Kentucky Adventure Tour and going through the mountains and stuff. Definitely had cell signal issues, uh, in, out, low, whatnot, drop calls. I was like, ah, you know, I'm not up in the mountains too much, being that I'm down here in Florida, maybe not that big of a deal. Um, well then in December, I did some of the Florida Adventure Trail. Pretty flat land. I'm in Apalachicola National Forest. Obviously, it's a very large forest. And once again, low or weak or no cell signal and uh, drop calls and whatnot. So I'm like, at that point, I just started doing more and more research. Uh, There's a couple people I know from some rigs and coffees, talked to them about it. They had some positive thoughts, positive re reviews, um, saw the benefit of it. So I bit the bullet and I did uh, buy one. So I just got back from a trip up to Tennessee, Cherokee National Forest. So once again, like Kentucky, a lot of mountains, in valleys, up and top and drops, um, cell, cell signals, intermittent, all those things. Now, what uh, the Wii Boost is meant to do is if you have some sort of signal, boost it. And I can, I can attest right now, definitely saw the benefit in that. I would see if I had one bar, I clicked that on, I could have two or three bars. Um, definitely helped throughout the trip, kept the cell signal. Obviously there's points in time where, you know, you're getting nothing, which this WeBoost will not help. It can't make something from nothing, but otherwise it did its job. One anecdotal story is I was at the Lost Creek Campground in Tennessee and uh, sitting at camp, I had zero bars. We powered up the truck, turned on the Wii Boost, and then lo and behold, boom, two bars LTE. So even though they don't promote it as a way in which to create something from nothing, I, there must have been such a low signal, but a signal somewhere accessible from that campground that when I did turn the booster on, boom, two bars LTE, was able to get messages, take messages, check emails, all that type of stuff, whatever I need to do, make a call and whatnot. So in that sense, um, and as a retro of this trip that we just went on, uh, I do find that I'm glad that I did buy the WeBoost. I think it's going to work. I plan on doing some many more trips and based on terrain or based on experiences here, um, I think it's gonna work. So take it as you will. Uh, is it worth the money? Um, as long as you use it, you know, and it's not like a decoration on your truck, um, I, think, I think it is worth it. It's helped us out, it's helped me out. And, uh, but those are my thoughts. Easy, easy install, uh, does, show, does show value. So thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a like. I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, look for some more content. We're getting ready to post some stuff from our Tennessee trip pretty soon. So thanks for joining and we'll catch you on the next time. We'll see you. Bye.